have radars uh, collectively integrated onto a top attack kit. It addresses loitering munitions and it provides drone detection for groups ones and twos. DRS has really taken a proactive approach to understanding force protection and allowing the discernment and identification of threats. We've seen this through Ukraine, we've seen this through Gaza. Now we're looking at drones. They're attacking very high loitering munition type attacks. We're not really prepared in that approach. This is really to kind of augment and provide gap filling capability for that um, formation capability at a proactive, low cost, kind of holistic A kit, B kit approach. We're providing sense of detection. We can provide it static. In this implementation, we're providing it on the move. So we can actually do search and track while on the move without any stoppages. Uh, we can also leverage the system onto any vehicle type. So we're not necessarily restrained to an ISV. We can do it on a JLTV, a striker, anything that allows for or requires a sense of detection capability while on the move. So inherently we have an AI capability. It's essentially integrated into the system. It allows for anything between a discernment between a biologic and kinetic threat. So predominantly birds, or drones, it'll tell the user individually, hey, this is a drone, you have to take proactive action. It also gives um, discernment in terms of priority. So it looks at the kinematics of the individual drone and then says, hey, this is my number one priority, and then you know, works the number range up from there. But allows the user to, if they have other missions that they're trying to, to work in tandem to this, this is just another added layer of protection that's semi-autonomous that allows the soldier to take proactive action. And so we're integrating a passive active capability. So at times, if you want to be completely passive, the system is capable of being completely passive. Or if you want to provide a passive cue to an active component to then have some type of kinetic capability, we can provide that as well. So in terms of understanding the dynamic threat and learning how to kind of proactively adjust to that, I would say we're way ahead of the game.